Hey guys, what is up? It is me, Pager here once again with another video on Superman Lois season four. So as I make this video, Superman Lois seems to be, I think, around episode four filming or about to head into it. Maybe it's at the end of episode three, roughly somewhere around there at the very least. But yeah, there hasn't been like a ridiculous amount of updates when it comes to the show as a whole. And you know, like when we'll like eventually see things coming our way as viewers, but that has now changed as we now have information coming from the CW themselves in regards to what is happening with, with the release of Superman Lois's fourth and final season. So in this video, we're going to be going over that as well as just some updates for some future episodes and, you know, plot details that aren't spoilers, but at least, you know, give us an idea of where some of the characters will be when we start season four. So to start off, Superman Lois. When the hell are we going to get it? What's going on? Now, that's been a question that many have been wondering about after, you know, the two strikes in Hollywood, in particular the writer strike, putting a delay on the production side of things. Well, now we have an update, a fairly big one, which some won't like. Some will be like, oh, what the hell? That's really annoying. But it's also not very surprising if we look at things uh, or look at the things that we've talked about over the past like month or so, roughly, when it comes to the show and circumstances outside of the show affecting the show. So Superman Lois... It's not coming out in the summer, so not like the June or July re uh, release that was originally put up for the show, not by the CW, like officially saying, oh, June or July, that's when it's coming out, but it's well, what a lot of the outlets assumed would be the case. Now, instead, the CW, or CW as, as it's now officially called, they are delaying the release of Superman Lois specifically until the fall of this year, so this will be the normal time you'd expect big shows to premiere, so this is around like late September, early October roughly, and this is where like the main Arrowverse shows of years gone by, like The Flash, Arrow, Supergirl, etc., and all the other CW main shows that they would normally premiere around usually early October, but sometimes late September, depending on the specific show. Now, I'm not sure if, well, at least I can't remember if Superman Lois ever had a premiere around that time. I think it always came out first quarter of the year. So like anywhere from January to March, but... Anyway, this delay was confirmed, but why is it happening? You might be wondering, why is it getting delayed until the fall? Because all the other shows will be premiering in either the spring or the summer, all like the main CW shows that got renewed, they're all coming out in the spring, like over the next few months or in summer, like around that June or July period. Well, this is what the president of entertainment for the CW, or CW, that being Brad Schwartz, had to say. Superman Lois's final season is going to blow your minds. I'm not kidding. This season is going to be one of the best shows on TV. I watched the first episode last night and it's going to make you cry. It's amazing because of all the special effects, it could be ready for summer, but we feel like it would be wasted in the summer. So let's put it in the fall where we can sell it in the upfront and really, really talk about it. So thoughts on this now, funnily enough, going against the grain, maybe? I actually agree with him. Now, I think a lot of what Brad Schwartz has said in the past has previously just been like sugar-coated crap, if you want to put it correct, like politely, maybe. But this makes a lot of sense, especially because the CW wouldn't have a lot for that period of the year in regards to shows that people would probably want to tune into. Uh, with all the other main shows that I was mentioning before, like the ones they renewed, like Walker and the two All-American shows, they're going to be debuting early in the year, like in the spring or the summer. So they can use Superman and Lois's fourth and final season as like the anchor for that fall slate of shows and surround it with their other products, whatever those other products might be. And there was like another thing which wasn't a part of that main quote where I actually I don't know if Brad Schwartz had specifically said it, but it was like one of like Deadline or Variety sort of pretty much like explained it. In other words, he didn't want to put Superman and Lois in the summer slot because it would be way too much competition, at least known competition, compared to what it would be like in the fall, where in the like in this spring and summer period that's coming up, it's going to be a lot of like season two, season three is all of already like popular shows, and even like some of the streaming stuff as well. But in the fall, though, it could be a risk. There's nothing there that is direct competition at this moment. So it seems like a bit of a safer spot to put it compared to summer. And then it also gives them much more time to do the post-production stuff like VFX and everything like that and make it the best show possible. Now, we did talk about this being a possibility, like it being delayed until the fall with not just the CW, but a lot of the other networks delaying shows for the f for the fall. That's a bit of a tongue twister for the fall of this year, just due to competition, due to all the delays from the strikes. Now, I'm not sure if the other networks have announced holding off shows as of yet, like ones that 
people thought would be, you know, put into the spring or summer of this year. But it could be new shows that they hold off until the end of this year to premiere in the fall, like ones that have that, you know, when like film pilot season, for example, uh, early this year. So, or not early this year, around this time of the year, sorry. Uh, like they'd probably start filming pilots, I guess, in like a month roughly from now. And those shows, if they get picked up, would then premiere later this year in the fall season. So it's easier as a show like Superman and Lois to go up against those, those new shows because they're the ones trying to find a new audience while you already have your audience, but you're not competing with another show that already has its audience, which there might be some crossover as well. Like the only risk for Superman and Lois at that time of the year would be something on streaming that's also in the same genre. It doesn't have to be like a comic book show, but in like, you know, like an action sci-fi sort of thing. But I'm not too sure, especially with streamers, because sometimes they just sort of announce their dates randomly. So at the moment, it seems like a very safe thing to do and the smart thing to do in regards to the post-production thing. But one thing I also wanted to look at was what Brad had to say about the season. He goes, this season is going to blow your minds and this season is going to be on, the, uh, this season, sorry, is going to be one uh, of the best shows on TV. So is this true? Well, it's hard because he says he's only watched one episode. But I mean, I ex from everything we've heard, you know, people seem to be like the people on the cast as well seem to be very excited about what's going down this season. Obviously, we've had little to no real knowledge of what's happening, which is a good thing. You don't want to get spoiled. But you also go, ooh, like you want to get some, see something to get you excited at the same time. So it's a bit of like a, like, I guess like a catch 22 is like, Hey, well, I don't want to get spoiled, but I also sort of, you know, I sort of want to get a tease as to what's coming. So I know what I'm getting excited about. So it's sort of like that balance, like, Ooh, you know, the, the devil and the angel on your shoulder. Um, but I, I, you know, I'm looking forward to regardless. And, you know, obviously this backs up what's been said by some of the cast and even some of the people like the crew so, uh, side of things in regards to, um, I, I don't want to say the epicness because you don't know, like the grandness of the show, what they're going to do because of, you know, there's also the talk about like, there's less of a budget, but we don't know how like the limited cast necessarily affects that, uh, or, or helps it in regards to still looking like what we had for the first three seasons. But, you know, hopefully that, uh, all these words that are said sort of like line up with what we get to see later this year. I know like, and that's the thing just to address the delay, because I sort of like skimmed over it while explaining it. I know it's going to annoy some people, but I think it's, I think it's mainly just because there's nothing this year. Like all the stuff that is coming this year is coming at the end of the year anyway. Um, at least on the TV side of things, like really all the stuff that's happening from now until that point is pretty much movie stuff. So I can understand like if you're a TV fan like myself, uh, that there's a bit of an annoyance there. But if it means that we're going to get a better product, especially when it comes to the post-production side and the VX, VFX side of things, and they can polish that more and make, maybe even do more um, because of that, then I'm fine waiting. It's just going to be a bit weird because they're going to be finished filming in April and potentially that means we're not getting the show till maybe October. So what's that? Like six months or like five and a half months or something like that. That's a crazy wait, crazy wait between the end of filming for a show and it coming out, especially for networks, specifically for network TV. It's a bit of a normal thing for streaming for network TV. That's insane. So that's going to be a very long wait and it could be a bit of a torturous one but i don't know maybe the, i don't know if that i don't know the one thing that comes from this which will be very very interesting that i haven't really seen people talk about and i don't know if they're going to do it because there's been a bit of a a break since covid for it but it because of this and the long distance between you know when it, fi it finishes filming and the premiere there's a pretty big event that happens between then and the premiere and that's comic-con i am very interested to see if superman lois goes to comic-con for the first time ever and be for its final season they might push for that uh that's in end of july so if they're not going to premiere in june or july and they're going to premiere in the fall season you'd go to comic-con to promote your, your final season so comic-con actually seems a bit likely now and they've also talked about you know promoting the show through the upfronts which happens in isn't that like may or june or something like that so by then they would have finished filming as well. So Comic-Con is definitely on the cards now, on the table, might I say, because of this delay, but definitely don't take that as confirmation um, because they haven't been to Comic-Con since the show started and they easily could have if they wanted to, but it's not like they've like banned going to Comic-Con because Bitsy Tyler and I think even Tyler Hecklin have gone there, but just not as a part of a official Superman Lois panel. So maybe that might finally happen in this final season. And just some minor updates. Uh, we did get the directors for the fourth and fifth episode of this season. We don't have episode titles, unfortunately. We have the first and third episode title, but we don't have episode two, four, or five. You know, maybe that's a good thing. Don't get spoiled, potentially. But Gregory Smith, who's directing episode one, he is coming back to direct episode four. And then we have Elizabeth Henstridge, who was, you know, uh, Simmons? 
Was she Simmons or was she... No, she was Simmons on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. I think she's directed two episodes previously of the show, where she's coming back to direct episode five. So familiar faces coming back to do more episodes. And the final thing to really talk about is that there was conversations about whether, you know, in regards to like the suiting up side of things, and, and I guess this plays into the VFX and action side. We do have confirmation that Natalie Irons, at the very least, will suit up in her, I guess, steel suit, as we did get um, some behind the scenes photos. I think these were posted by Alex Garfin, who plays Jordan. I posted a couple with him, like with Lex Luth, but we'd already seen Lex Luth of photos and um, you know, some other cast, but this is the only, like, this is the first photo, might I say, where we get to see Natalie Irons in the steel suit or her steel suit um, for this season. So at least there's confirmation around that uh, because there was people wondering whether that would be the case. So at least in her final two or three appearances, depending on how many episodes she gets, she'll at least suit up in one of those episodes, which is a good thing. But yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, it'd be awesome. Could drop a like and show your support. Let me know in the comment section down below your various thoughts on this stuff. Are you a bit disappointed by the delay or do you understand and think it's a better move for the show as a whole, especially just by the premiere date? It's a long wait. You're pretty much waiting, what, nine months essentially? Uh, or eight months, depending on when they decide to drop it. But hopefully it's worth it. I think it will. It's just a bit of a pain in the ass. But if they do go to Comic-Con, I guess that's when we get a trailer for this season. Um, but yeah, that's still a while away to even think about that, but hopefully we get some stuff from set. So it's sort of like tides us by. Um, but yeah, I understand the delay, but I can understand people getting annoyed, but feel free to let me know your comments down there in the comment section down below. Uh, of course. And of course, if you are new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye.